I just got back to the farm after racing the Phillies. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, um, I got a call saying, where do you want this horse? I said I didn't order a horse. <laughs> Um, Renee, we had bought uh, Caviar's Triumph off of Renee, and I hadn't wired the money yet to him. I just hadn't got around to it. I had a lot going on, and um, I know Renee very, very well, so it wasn't that concerning to me. I, I assumed it wasn't that concerning to him. Um, it certainly wasn't. He didn't say a word to me. He just put him on a truck. He's here now, so I'm going to pull up to Kevin's barn. Uh, that's where the horse Caviar's Triumph, that's his name, Caviar's Triumph will be going um, and training out of. I'm going to get a good look at him right now. We also have uh, get a good look at, at this big guy right now. Um, in regards to the Phillies, uh, I was very, very happy with what I saw. I said to somebody, overall, Canadian Titan raced unbelievably well. I was never so disappointed in an eighth of a mile in my life. It looked like she was going to win by 10 lengths. And then that horse, that, that horse that ran the front end, uh, came back on and won. Now, it's important. It rocks. That hurts. Lord above. Um, that horse, uh, that beater, was a $100,000 yearling at Lexington um, out of Windsong Soprano by Cadabra. Meant to be a good horse, but I can tell you this. Those runaway miles on the front end, uh, they're going to be a problem in the very near future, probably for... Eh, not the near future, but I would sus suspect by the end of the year that will become a problem for uh, Jula, whatever, whatever her name is. Um, very impressed with uh, the composure and the presence of Canadian Titan. I would like to see a little killer instinct in her step on that horse down the lane, but uh, mile 58 flat uh, for that filly, big mile, big last half, uh, very impressive mile from Canadian Titan, which says a lot because Canadian Titan was a very mediocre horse training down um, you know, we'd always talked about how big and gangly she was and how she had to grow into her body. She has. And now she's starting to race better and better and better and better and better. Really, really impressed with, uh, really impressed with Canadian Titans mile tonight. Overall mile. A little, little upset for that last little bit where she didn't put the horse away. But, um, very rarely you see a horse go so wide open to the half, walk the last turn, kick the earplugs out, and then hold on to win you don't see that one very often and it was a good mile by the horse in the front but I suspect uh, those miles will get to her at the end of the season um, Fox Valley Shazam I haven't got any notes yet but I'm sure I'll get some messages from people that are a little disappointed with her I thought that was one of her better miles yeah she was fifth yeah she got weak down lane I'll give you that she was weaker but she was better better in the fact that she was comfortable she was fluid she trotted better. She was smarter. She was happy to do her work. Now, Mario had told me before that he thought she was coming into season. She was a little bit in heat. That'll do it, maybe, I suppose. But overall, uh, she was stronger in her qualifier, but a little rougher in her qualifier. This was not her strongest performance by any stretch. I'm not saying that. But overall, as far as what you want to see a trotter do, definitely on the right track. Now, if you had asked me after last week's performance... It looked like she was starting to spiral downward. You don't want to see that at the end of July of a two-year-old year. That's a problem. And uh, I had some real concerns and reservations about what was taking place. But then after watching her uh, tonight, yeah, I'll give you, she was a little weaker. But the way she, her demeanor, she warmed up quiet with her ears up. She raced, you know, going into the first turn, the race was setting up crappy because... The long shot from the outside was going to make it problematic. If Louie, Dougie, and I line up one, two, three, I just stay along the rail. She finishes up strong. I'm certain she's a hard closing third and probably race as well. No, probably second. I would have beat Louie. But um, having to come first over in that last turn took its toll on her. She got weak down the lane and ended up uh, a beaten fifth. I could have, I guess, chased her and chased her and chased her. That horse come and beat me for fourth. I knew he was coming. And by the time I knew he had me measured, She's already out of soap. I mean, it's too late. And I was very content and happy halfway down the lane with her mile. Um, again, I want to see these horses do it right. She's going to get stronger. She's going to regain that speed. Doing it right is vitally important this time of year. And she did that tonight. So although she wasn't as strong as Canadian Titan, and there's a filly that had some real problems and real issues getting her qualified, she just looked weak. Then she gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Now looks really, really good. Very impressed with Canadian Titan. 
but I was impressed with Fox Valley Shazam also for two very different reasons. We already know that Fox Valley Shazam can fly. There's no two ways about that. But doing it right, when they start to do it wrong, it's very hard to correct that in the middle of a stake season. So I was very impressed with what I saw from Fox Valley Shazam tonight. A little unimpressed with um, uh, the other filly who ended up making a break, enjoying my life was one of our top Philly prospects training down, and she just hasn't regained that form just yet. I'm a little concerned, uh, I'll tell you why. I think if, if we work on her, we can get her we can get her better and better and better, but the people that own this Philly, uh, they have horses with other trainers, and I suspect she may be headed to one of those other trainers. Uh, very nice people, but when it comes to the horses, if, uh, you know, we're paid to do a job, and if that job isn't getting done, um, you know, especially when it comes to a single, a singular entity that owns the horses, if they want to move them. That's fine. Same, uh, uh, the Phillies race tonight. I forgot to watch. Um, Timel Dazzle, the gentleman that owned Timel Farms that owned her, moved her to Richard Moreau. That happens. I mean, to think you're going to have the be get the best out of every horse all the time is ridiculous. I think our track record kind of speaks for itself. I think we overall have done a, a very good job with with the horses we have uh, in our care. And uh, I hope we have an opportunity to correct the mistake tonight from enjoying my life. But the reality of the situation is we may not. So um, we'll deal with that. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We can only, we can only uh, do the best we can, work as hard as we can, and put the horses on the track. That's what we did tonight. Very impressed with uh, both Canadian Titan and Fox Valley Shazam for two different reasons. But uh, happy with what I saw. Now, next Saturday, they, they go to Sarnia. Um, I'm in the Meadows on Saturday. I won't be back to drive Fox Valley Shazam, but from what I saw tonight, I don't think it'll matter. She was, uh, she's definitely going to get better. We're going to put her on Regimate, which is a medication, an oral medication to keep the horses from coming into heat. Uh, a lot of fillies are on it and, um, we'll put her on it and keep her on it. And I suspect she'll be a little bit better next week, but, um, if she can build on what I saw tonight, I think we're going to have a good rest of the season with uh, Fox Valley Shazam. And clearly we're going to have a, a, a good end of the season with um, with uh, Canadian Titan also. Hopefully we get a chance to correct our mistake tonight from uh, enjoying my life. But that will remain to be seen. So that's it. That's the video. I, I didn't send your qualifying out. You know what? I went, down, I went home and had a nap and I forgot. I forgot to send out your video. So you're going to get two races from tonight and the qualifiers from this morning. A lot went on today. Mostly all good. It was a great day overall. Uh, I got to sit down and watch uh, Jailhouse Master and Beach Bum BB tonight. Both are up in class a little bit. The greatest news for me today in that front was that we had taken Havana Unana back to Ohio. Uh, made a few little changes. She qualified in 2-2 today at Sayoda and looked very, very good. So she'll be heading back. Jason McGinnis is going to make his training debut in Indiana. And I will make my driving debut next week in Indiana. On the 20th, uh, we got a lot going on that day day, that 24-hour period. There's a uh, breakfast television is coming out here on the 21st. If you guys want to come out, watch the taping and uh, watch, uh, watch the horses go, uh, feel free. Uh, that'll be from 6.40 in the morning till 9 o'clock in the morning on the 21st of August. Uh, the day before that, at night, Havana Unana races in the stakes. I've asked James. I told James I'd fly him down to drive Havana Unana, and then Ohio is the next day with the Phillies. A lot of people asking why James isn't driving, spend that money in Compass Rose, D.C. He has stake races here and has some commitments here, so I told him I would drive them in Ohio. He can retain those drives in two weeks' time on the 20th, uh, 21st of August. So, that's today. That's what's new and fresh, and tomorrow I'm off to. I'm going to head down early with the kids a day early to Ohio, drive down with Amy and the kids, um, maybe go to a water park. And then Thursday, we got all the girls in to go. Friday, you guys may not know this yet. Friday, we have Athens, Ohio. Uh, Overdue Mission and Susie K are going to take uh, take part in another fair this Friday, uh, leading up to the next Buckeye that they're in a week later, I believe. And then Saturday, we got the boys in Ohio also. I'll be back here Sunday for Georgian Downs. We have a lot of horses to enter. At we have three and a quarter this Saturday. Drew Neal. You'll remember that that young kid that worked for us at the open house and did a great job. He's going to do take his uh, his talents of driving to Kawartha Downs for us on Saturday night. I'm back Sunday and Tuesday in Georgian. Lot coming up this week. All the stakes are gearing back up in the states too. Don't forget the Gold Cup and Saucer. We have a horse for the Gold Cup now. If you want to come to PEI, you'll never have a better time 
I'm sure we'll have something on the go for our owners in PEI. So take care. Talk to you guys soon.